Hi everyone, how are you watching? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about kidney filtration, why it is so important to your health and some of the little things that you can do to get on the road to getting those kidneys filtrating out the ways that you want them to do. So my name is Hilda Larson. I'm a health and a mindset coach. I'm a detox specialist. I'm a life enthusiast most of all, but I'm also an author of three books. I'm a speaker and I travel the world and I love to speak to you through my, you, you know, my YouTube channel. So with no further ado, as I'm walking and I am <laughs> every day in nature, as should you, barefoot if you can, as much as you can, to ground yourself for better health. I am thinking, let's talk about kidney filtration in simplicity because a lot of people don't understand what that is. I am so grateful for all of you clients coming to me, but even in that crowd, even people who've been following me for years don't really grab what that is. Now, let's simplify and say that your health is all about how much waste you're carrying around. I know it makes sense in the way that when you're thinking about waste creating um, odor, you know from your home, right? Creating parasites come in, the fungus come in, uh, it, it smells, it rots. So waste is not what we want in our body. We know what we feel like when we're constipated. So if you look at your body as a machinery, as an entity, that is perfectly designed to absorb, utilize, and then also eliminate. Now, to be able to do that whole circle of life, elimination is probably the most important in this society. And you know what? Because we're bombarding ourselves with so much crap. There's just so much shit and everything. Have you noticed? I mean, food is not real food anymore. You can't go to the grocery store and find food in a box or in a jar or as a powder or something and you read on the label and you can't even understand what it says. If your grandma can't pronounce it, I learned, then it's not real food. Well, the older grandmas. Sadly, I'm a grandma. Well, luckily I'm a grandma, but sadly I, the grandma, I can pronounce it because it's been around for a long time already and this is what we're suffering. So we're suffering because we're full of shit. And this is the right word to use for it. And I'm just using it because it's the truth. Now, if you look at your body internally, you will see that we have the blood that Dr. Robert Morse also talks about. Of course, this is, this is where I learned the majority of what I know about detoxification which is what I use with all my clients, that being a part of what I do. So when you look at your body, we have two major fluids, and that's blood and it's lymph. And the blood is mostly there for carrying nutrients, oxygens, energy to the cells. It's the kitchen, carrying life force. We don't carry waste in our blood. If you have waste in your blood, you're in trouble. If you have waste in the body, period, you're in trouble. But the blood needs to stay clean. It needs to stay alkaline even. It needs to stay at a perfect pH or we die. If acids win, we die. <clears throat> if acids start to take over, we're in pain. And I'll get to the kidney filtration very soon. So that's the one part. Then the other part of the fluids Two thirds of our fluids actually are the lymphatic system, the lymph, the, what people are not talking so much about. It's not that sexy, not that in, not that hip to talk about the lymphatic system. Until now, we're awakening to it being the sewer system, carrying out not only the metabolic waste from what every cell in your body will do, eat and poop, but also the waste that comes from our cells, the cellular waste, and our digestive waste. Some of that goes into that same process. And you know what happens? When the lymphatic system is clogged up, it's not the same as you walking around, not being able to move you know, your lymph in that sense. Because all you have to do is this, and your lymph is moving. But that's not enough. 
Because what I'm talking about is interstitially. I'm talking about stagnant lymph in the sense that it's not filtering out at the other end. Now, the kidneys are the organs that filter out lymphatic waste. So in turn, on top of the obvious, your bowels being a major release for waste. Feces, you know, a lot of substances, not only from your food, but everything that your body processes will go through the bowels also. The liver contributes to that. Bile contributes to that. The gallbladder contributes to that. The spleen. All of these organs and glands contribute to that. But the lymphatic system is mainly filtered through the kidneys. Now, why would your kidneys not be filtering, you might ask? Well, see, that's the tricky question. And that's where this teaching of emotional and physical goes together. Because the adrenal glands that sits on top of the kidneys, they control the kidneys. Now the adrenal glands are the little puppies that are so vulnerable to stress, trauma, any type of fear, anxiety in your life. And it turns into a catch-22. Because if you're anxious, you're hurting them. If they are already hurting, you're anxious. If you feel any kind of fear in your life, your kidneys are taking direct hit from that. Now, if you have kidneys not working properly or just simply numbed it down by mucus and waste, you'll feel that same fear. So the emotional component is huge beyond. I mean, if I should choose to change one thing in my diet or change how I look at the world, how I feel, or where I'm spending my day, if I could decide to take myself out of a stressful situation or fearful situation, that's what I would do first. And that's what I see. Now, I have made a kidney filtration process, a one week process, which most of my members have tried. And I have never seen better results in anything when it comes to kidney filtration. But wowza, when I see my clients shift their emotional state, the physical, and that's exciting. That's really exciting because that means even more um, than what we ever thought, that we are in complete control of this, that you're in complete control of this. So, your lymphatic system and your kidneys. Now, you also have the lymph nodes, and they're like the septic tanks, and they, they uh, are the house of bacteria. The bacteria is there to eat acids, transform, so that whatever needs to come out can filter fluidly through the lymphatic system, down to the kidneys, and then you pee it right out. You pee it out. It's like opening the floodgate to all of your acids. And I'm talking pain. When that happens, pain leaves. I see this and I say, say that. That's why I see a lot of people, in, even in the raw food industry, they're not feeling and looking optimal if they're staying on a high fat, high salt diet, not minding their eliminative organs. Because so many people are still focusing on what they take in, on what they digest, on what they eat. It's not about that. It's about how you can get the crap out. And believe me, I know, I've been there. I went through years of all of these diets just to get to where I'm at. And where am I at? Simplicity, baby. I mean, real simplicity. So what do you do to get your kidneys to filter, you ask? And how do you know if they're even filtering? Well, that's the easy part. You pee in a jar. Yes, you pee in a jar. Everybody pees in a jar, right? No? Well, you can pee in a jar. Now, what you're looking for is for the urine to not be clear. Contradictory of everything you might have heard, the urine's not supposed to be clear. Now, I don't care as much about the color. Like, if it's really light in color, it just means you had a lot of liquids, excess, excess liquid that the body wanted to rid. If it's darker, you're more dehydrated at that very moment. Now, what we're looking for is more 
I see it's called sediment, but what you're looking for with your eye, if you don't know what that means, is particles floating around, could be mucus, strings of mucus, could be just general cloudiness. Anything that looks different from clear is filtration, and that makes sense, right? It meant something else than clear water, urine, urea, urea came out. That's lymphatic waste. You pee in a jar, you can see it right away, or sometimes not. If not, put a lid on it, put it in your fridge, leave it overnight, and see if anything sank to the bottom, if it changed. Now, the thing is this, why is it so important to know? Why is it so important to know if, you, if your kidneys are filtering? Well, especially since I promote a high fruit diet, I promote a low fat diet, I promote a no salt diet, I promote a healing diet, I promote a species specific diet, I promote a diet that's gonna take you from suffering to thriving. Now, why would you wanna look at something like that if you're still going in the same direction? Well, the key is this. In this world, with everything happening around us, the interesting thing about knowing is that if you're filtrating, you can work even harder, you can dig deeper, you can be more aggressive in your regime, in your protocol, because as long as things are moving out, you can get th more things to loosen up. Does that make sense? If you're not filtering yet, if you're going too hard, see, I have people that just jump right into a water fast, even a dry fast or a grape fast after coming from cooked food. Yeah, I mean, if you're saving your life, if, if you have months, if somebody told you you're in such big trouble, you need to go ASAP, you know, ASAP, jump. You just have to jump, that's all you can do. But if not, see, you can be loosening so many toxins, you're getting yourself into trouble. And the symptoms of detoxification that will hit you will probably scare you right out of, you know, out of your own journey, and we don't wanna see that. We wanna see you stay on. By educating yourself, by having support, by joining a good community, by stepping up and knowing and owning, you know, every step of your way. So, when you're ready to go, it's interesting to look at because then you know that if you're not filtering, that's your number one priority, I would say. Number one priority. And that goes together with the emotional detox that I talk about so much. Why? Again, because the adrenal sits on top of the kidneys, which controls the filtration. Now, if the adrenals are down, you're stressed. It comes from stress, ultimately. Now you can be born with low adrenals, of course. If you came from a mama, you, took, you, you bathed in her whole system. You're born with her blood and lymphatic system. So of course you could take this into this world. But the thing is, you have been packing on to that for your whole life until this moment. So the cause behind the adrenals again. See, you can always look at the cause of, of, of what we call dis-ease. And I look at it this way. You have your, all of your bodies that works together, you know, in, in a perfect symposium, a perfect music that you create every single day. Not that you made one day. Every single day you create the notes in there. You decide what you're gonna play over and over again. You know, a lot of things just go on repeat. You eat the same, you say the same, you feel the same, you work the same job, you have the same husband, you know, you pet the same dog, you think the same thoughts, until you start changing some of these up. Now, all of this has led to your experience right now. So if you're flat on your back and your adrenals are low and your kidneys aren't filtering and you're not doing that great and you can't change your diet because you're full of parasites, the cause is way beyond having a gland that's down. It's why is the gland down? And even if it came from the mother, you know, together with the father for some weaknesses, you still lived the life that kept it there. Because if you changed once you came out of the womb, if you didn't have that imprint of growing up in that environment that taught you to carry this with you, you'd be regenerated already. Because the body can regenerate everything. So until you stop everything that you've been doing and change every aspect of what is not serving you, you're still feeding it. So, meaning, even if you change your diet, you can clean the physical body it will release an emotional detoxification as well. And that's the underlying cause of the physical. So that's why I work so much about, you know, with the mindset and the emotional. That's why my membership site has a course on it, done for you, seven, seven videos on emotional detox. 
That's why I'm so passionate about this. Because I went through years of crying, years of wanting to die. I released all of this. Well, not all of this, I'm still human. <laughs> but I released enough of it to be eager to study it and to see with my clients the patterns. Do you know when I read iridology, um, which is also a part of my practice, um, I can see the emotional in the eye. I mean, I'm, I'm not just going after your glands and your organs. I'm seeing the trauma, the detrimental trauma. I'm seeing the shredding of the soul. So this is, a, this is like a whole package deal. You not being able to change your diet, it's not about the food, it's about you. It's about everything but food. It's about all the parts of you that has nothing to do with food. And this is when it come, becomes interesting. For you, it might become overwhelming or complicated, but it's not. It's empowering. It just shows that you have an even larger power than you thought. Meaning if you can't get the best of fruits, if you can't get the best food, who cares? As long as you do the best that you can do and work on your mind, emotions, releasing, changing, changing how you live your life, changing who you spend your time with, what you're putting your attention at, everything in your reality will change. So this is what I wanted to inspire you towards today to look at your kidney filtration and know how important it is for your health. Also know the adrenals are controlling your kidneys. And if you have any type of stress in your body, in your life, in your past, even looking at the future, know that that is the key. That is what you've been given to look at. That is the creator saying, this is what's healing to you. Anything that looks really bad or hard or harsh or overwhelming right now, that's the key you've been given. A key to health is not the easy way. That's not what it is. Everybody would have done it. People don't do. We're afraid of hard. We're afraid of struggling. I say honor the struggle. Honor the struggle because it's the key. It's the blessing. It's your opportunity. So look at it with enthusiasm to learn and to grow. Okay, on my website, I, just to mention, on my website, I also have a process called Adrenal Health. You can go in and download all of these. I have 12 processes on there. I have information tracks made for you. There are so many ways to get started. You know, as a member, you, you, know, you know all this, you have, you, you have them all. But if you're not, you can still say, hey, I don't wanna be anybody's member. I don't wanna be in that tribe, you know, that keep on healing and da da da. I just want to get this and this and this and this and I want to do this all on my own. Well, you can do that too. So, I honor you for being here. I'm going to keep on walking and you know what? I found some wild blueberries uh, just over here. So, that's probably going to be me sitting down for lunch today. So, I want to inspire you also. Always, <laughs> I have to end it with this. Get outside, take off your shoes, hug a tree, say a prayer, honor the struggle, and be grateful and thank you for everything that you have. I used to say, and I still do, thank you for this healing. Show me the way. How can I serve? Namaste. Until next time.